a city where the past meets present. While a much rarer sight these days, enter this district in the Japanese city of Kyoto, and you will find geisha on the wooden Tatsumi Bridge, or amid upscale Japanese restaurants and boutiques on Hanamikoji Street. These women dressed in colorful kimonos are performing artists well-versed in traditional Japanese dance, music, and games, which they perform at tea houses for their guests. But starting in April, tourists visiting Gion District will no longer be allowed to pass through private alleyways or geisha entryways. It's a move that has divided opinion. Uh, I, I wonder why it's being enforced. To me, this is a unique heritage area, I guess, that people want to enjoy and would like to photograph the architecture. I think it's very good to, to ban the, 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 to take the pictures of, of uh, here in the area because, um, you know, um, the privacy of the girls, the privacy of the girls, yeah, of, of the good. women. I think you have to be careful and, and, and take care for the habits of, of the country you visit. I like it here very much in Japan. Um, the hospitality, they are generous to you, they want to help you. That's very, very nice to see here as a tourist. But um, it can be a problem too, when it's too much. And um, when the people from the West, like we, from Europe, want to um, take over, take over all the, the rules and the, the manners they have here in, 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 um, in Japan. Geisha have reported being harassed for photos and having their delicate hair ornaments touched by tourists. ま、<笑> Tourism in Japan has been increasing since pandemic restrictions were dropped in April 2023. The number of foreign arrivals in Japan is expected to exceed a record 31 million people in 2024.